The teacher doesn't just throw control to the students and say, let me know what you figure out. She really has to plan ahead of time. She has to figure out how to group the students so that they're the most productive. She has to scaffold their work. So she provides hints or clues or templates, worksheets if necessary to kind of show them what they need to do first, what they might consider doing next. She has to teach them how to work together. You know, teamwork is not something that comes naturally, especially for younger students. They really need to learn how to do that. So we would have a anchor or a set of expectations about what kind of language would be used, what the roles and responsibilities are for each person in that group, and what are the processes for asking further questions or clarification. So you do, you serve one trail mix and give out stickers, I do two, two trail mixes. I'm doing Bryce it. does the questions and then you I do, do the, the other things. So when students are working on projects in different groups, it's, it's difficult to get to all of them at once. And they may really need you. So my first strategy for that is teaching a child how to use each other. Teaching them how to talk to one another. And so here we call it accountable talk. So what are ways that you talk with each other when you disagree? How do you do that in a respectful manner to continue to collaborate with each other and keep the project moving? Also, I do a lot of tabletop directions. If I have short directions that they need to get through or a checklist or an agenda, they have to get through so many things by the end of the day or the end of the week, instead of raising their hand and asking me and I have to run back and forth, it's right there in front of them. So it's really the art of facilitation. Um, the teacher would not be at the front of the room directing instruction, but instead she is choreographing instruction. So she's like a conductor, and she would go to all the different tables and groups to ensure that each group is working in harmony to achieve that goal at the end. 